Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup tutorial. This is actually my second makeup look using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palettes. You guys requested this look specifically, which is the one that I was wearing in my last video. And all of, well, actually most of the eyeshadows that I'm wearing on my eyes um, came from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palettes. I'm telling you guys, if you don't own this palette, if you think you don't need it, think again because you will fall in love so today I wanted to recreate the look that I was wearing I did make it a little bit better I perfectionized it if that's even a word and this is the star of the show which is danger it is this absolutely gorgeous royal blue color and it is so pigmented so I am going to stop rambling because I can ramble forever so enjoy this video and I'll see you guys soon bye all right, so I have already primed my lids, so we're moving on to the palette. I'm going to take this color right here, which is Anaheim, and this is going to be our transitional color. Um, I wanted to use something that was a little bit more cool toned, and this is what was the closest to a cool toned color since we are wearing blue. So I'm going to take that, and I usually wing it out, but I'm actually doing it on a circular motion. Now I'm going to take my favorite color out of the palette, which is Punk. I know that I used this in my last tutorial, but it's my favorite and I just, I have to use it. So I'm taking a thinner brush and I'm doing the same step that I did with Anaheim, except this is going to go more into the crease and this will just help blend that blue color out a little bit more. It'll give it that smoky look and I just think it looks really pretty. So I do go back in a few times and I make sure that I blend everything out and I do like for that color to be pretty intense. So like I said, I do go back a couple of times and then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is by Beauty Junkies, hands down the best, um, what was I saying? The best, oh my gosh, this is the best, um, I sh I'm not even, yeah, I'm all over the place. It's a good blending brush. Now I'm going to take Danger and I'm going to apply this with a synthetic brush because that is the best way to get the pigment from this color. I'm really packing it on. I go over at least two or three times to pack on the color because I really want it to be as intense as possible. As you can see, I'm working pretty hard to get this color pretty intense. Now I do go back with punk and I actually apply that again to the eyes or to my lid. Um, oh my gosh, see, I can't even speak guys, like whatever. We're just moving on to the next clip. This is an eyeshadow by ColourPop and I'm actually just going to apply that to the inner corners of the eye. I don't have it in front of me so I don't know the name but I will have it in the description bar down below as always. But it's a really pretty silver eyeshadow with a little bit of blue sparkles in it which I thought was perfect so I'm going to apply that and then I am going to move on to eyeliner I believe I wasn't wearing eyeliner the day that I actually did my makeup with this look and I totally forgot about it so feel free to skip the eyeliner because it looks equally as pretty with or without it Now I'm going to move on back to punk and I'm going to finish off my eyes. I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. This is again going to give us that nice smoky effect. I did apply my lashes off camera because it's boring and nobody wants to see that but I'm going to apply that punk color and then I'm going to go in with this color pop pencil these are some of their new um, eye pencils and again I don't know the name but I will have it down below and I'm going to smoke it out it's really close to that punk color it's like a dark brown with maroon now I'm going to move on to bronzer and this is the MAC uh, mineralized skin finish and deep tan and I'm going to bronze up my face this is probably my favorite bronzer like high-end bronzer it's just it's a really pretty warm color and I didn't use any blush for today I just used a bronzer and that's all I did 
Now I'm going to move on to my favorite part, which is contouring. And I'm using my favorite duo, which is the Bums Bahama Mama and my e.l.f. contour brush. If you guys have any suggestions of any other like contouring bronzers, definitely let me know because I need to switch it up. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to the highlights and this is yet again another ColourPop highlights. This is in the color Wisp. I recently picked this up and I'm planning on doing a Cyber Monday slash Black Friday um, haul. Let me know if you guys want to see that anyway. But I'm going to apply this and then I'm going to top it off with the Bombs Mary Luminizer. And I'm just going to top off that highlight just to set it in place and let's be real I bathe myself in highlights so I'm just going to apply that to the highest points of my cheekbones Now I'm going to move on to my lip liner. I definitely wanted to keep it really nude because I wanted the eyes to be the center of attention. And I'm going to be taking Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay. It is a really pretty nude brown lip liner. And I'm going to overdraw the tops of my lips. You guys know that I always do this. It makes a world of a difference. Now I'm going to take this lipstick by Maybelline. It's one of their matte lipsticks. And I believe it is called Nude Embrace. And that completes the look. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. All right, and this is the end. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this second tutorial using the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palettes. I think I'm definitely going to do maybe two more looks using this palette. I know a couple of you are going to be picking this up. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media just so you can stay updated with my videos as well. All the info will be in the... All the info will be in the description bar down below. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.